Hello Whisperers, I'm M0PAI I'm just going to give you a quick run through on setting up the Whisper Lite and uh, getting the software and getting that up and running so first thing we need to do is head over to dexplorer.net forward slash Whisper Lite on the page you will see this download config app uh, for Windows once you've downloaded that and installed it, you open up the app, which is there. Let's extend the window. <clears throat> Plug in the whisper light. And hopefully then it should give us which port it's on. So it's showing COM17, Soda Beams, Whisper Light. Hit connect, which it's not shown on the screen, but if you go to the right hand corner of the uh, of the program, it will then fill in the boxes. Now mine's already been set for the call sign and locator. If you enter the call sign, then enter the locator. Also then you'll have to pick the band. The band is on a drop down box, so I'm going to set up for 7 megs, 40 meters. We'll leave the 200 milliwatt, uh, the 200 milliwatt, uh, the full power of the whisper. This box here as well, we'll leave it default, which is whisper light output power, no external amplifier. At the moment, I've got the uh, the repeat rate at 50%. Default is 20. Uh, the band's a little bit quiet, uh, so I will run at 50. Uh, just for this uh, bit of a demo. Max run time, three days. Again, that's default. And then if you fill out those boxes, and then again in the top right, uh, you'll see when you, uh, when you have the app open, you'll see Save Whisper Settings. Hit that. That will write it to your uh, Whisper unit. And down at the bottom here, you have the link for the D Explorer, which if you right click, select all and copy, you can send that to your email, which you can then open and uh, and see it on your smartphone. So let's open the uh, let's open the browser. This takes you to this page, the D Explorer page. What you will need to do is. Uh, as, as you see here, it's, uh, it's actually on 14 megs. You'll need to go to new call forward slash band. There's the call signs in there. Again, I'm, uh, I've set this for 7 megs of whisper light, so I need to hit 7 megs on this option as well. Okay, we need to set the time. I'm going to use uh, the, the Windows clock. So if I just zoom out a little bit. You'll see the red flashing light on the Whisper light unit. And I'm now going to have to wait <clears throat> until 2032. Uh, so once that comes round, we'll hit the start button. And that will um, show a solid red. And the solid red will mean it's in transmit mode. So we'll be back in a, just a, a few ticks and then get it started. Yeah, we're nearly there. It's 20, 31 and 50 seconds. So we'll keep an eye on the seconds. Uh, and we're nearly ready. 9, 32. So 20, 32 is our first transmission. And you can see the solid red light to show that we're in TX. It does have a sequence of green LEDs as well. Uh, on the next even minute when it's not in transmit mode. But more info is uh, is in the instructions. So we'll zoom in a little bit, and uh, and then by then hopefully we should have some spots coming through. And I'll just run uh, through just a few of these tabs on the D Explorer uh, website. Okay, we're on the main page of D Explorer, and we've done a transmission on uh, seven megs uh, with the G5 RV. Uh, so if we go down to the spots table and we can see if, uh, if anything's been seen. 
Okay, so we've got 2032, which would have been our latest one. It's now 2035. You can see there DL, DL5 RBD. If we go back into the menu, we do have a few other options, three, six, one day, one week. So we can see how we've been doing over that period of time. If we go into menu, uh, you can see the DX uh, table, the graph, uh, the map and the spots table. Something to have a little bit of a play about with. And an interesting one is, uh, hit the wrong one, is the new comparison tab. If you hit the comparison. So if we don't know who's on a band, this will tell me who's on. If I just go to DX10 graph there, you can put somebody's call sign in if you know they're on 7 megs as well. But let's go to DX10 graph, press that button. That'll give us an idea of, uh, of a comparison. So you can see by the graph on, on that call sign. If I just go back, click a different one. Let's pick a random there. <clears throat> No spots, but you get the general idea. Uh, something to play about with. And uh, let's have a look what other spots have uh, have come through. You got the table, but have a play about. So spots table, not looking too bad, <clears throat> in uh, in a short short period of time uh, on the G five RV. Um, uh, VK VK two COW. <laughs> Not a bad little spot uh, for the G5 RV and uh, and 200 milliwatt. So thanks for watching. Hope that's been useful, and hopefully I'll uh, I'll catch you on the air.